November the 11th can be a day for kids to learn about the past, but for one class in Alberta, it also became an opportunity to experience a bit of it. Linda Calvert explains. Everybody make sure you're smiling, your eyes are open. A quick snap, then with shovels and pickaxes and the Canadian flag in tow, and this group of high school students from northern Alberta is off to learn a lesson about Remembrance Day, one that involves a lot of hard work. They are div uh, digging typical World War I slit trenches. It's a living history class, says their teacher and former reservist, Mike McKay. I'm trying to erase this idea that Remembrance Day is just a day off school or a day off work. That Remembrance Day is, uh, is really thinking seriously about those who served and the hardships and the uh, deprivations they had to go through. Tanner Emerson already has a taste of those deprivations. It's not like, you know, not, it's not like we have to stay here for weeks, you know, watching for real soldiers. It's just the day thing and then tomorrow we can go home. It's going to take about four hours to dig these trenches and they have to be big enough for two people and chest deep. And then they're going to stay here tonight. Two hours of sleep, two hours on patrol. There's snow on the ground and the temperature is below zero. Morning arrives and with it a new understanding of the vulnerability of soldiers. I was cold and not very much sleep. The history lesson becomes even more real when veterans arrive to inspect the trenches. It's surprising uh, how fast you can dig when uh, there's shell fire. Oh, yeah. World War II infantryman Gordon Donaldson lived this. And for a moment, the sight of the boys and the trenches is almost too real. But what I do remember is the uh, ones that didn't come back. And uh, young men in their prime. McKay says he'll do this again next year, and he's hoping other schools will pick up the idea too. Linda Calvert, CBC News, Eaglesham, Alberta.